Moving back to the UK after spending 16 months in Guernsey was a bit of a worrying thought. After nothing but doom and gloom online and on the TV regarding the position of the UK, we were expecting the worst upon our return home. But what is it like returning to the UK during a pandemic? Well, let's find out. Hi, we are Gemma and Campbell and in 2018 we cut the roots to our static lives and began backpacking all around the world, working wherever and whenever we needed to. In 2020, we found ourselves stranded on the beautiful island of Guernsey where we settled in and weathered the storm of the next year enjoying the welcoming nature of the island. In June 2021 we decided it was time we quit our jobs and began the long journey home to our families in Scotland which leads us nicely right up till now. Good morning guys it's another day in paradise and is Portsmouth as the next stop. How do you think you slept? Was the bed worth it? So worth it. Honestly, like, I think we passed out an hour after we got on the ferry. It's so comfortable, don't feel seasick. Overnight ferries and getting a cabin is the way to go. I don't even care that it would cost extra money. It's <laughs> so worth it. Land ahoy! We made it. I think all things considered, the ferry sailing went pretty smoothly. Mm -hmm. yep. yeah. Not too rocky, didn't get woken up in the middle of the night by any rather large bumps, so it's going good so far, guys. And now we've just got breakfast, which Gemma is choking to get stuck into, and then it's time to board the cars. Wish I could say I was finally over you, but that's not the truth. First time we're going to be picking up a speed higher than 35 in this car in 16 months. Cross our fingers, guys, that the car doesn't explode, please. 40 miles an hour. No, not 60. <laughs> no. So we're on to our next task of the day. You might be wondering that our car is looking very, very empty. That's because we just checked into our hotel. We had to empty everything from the car into the hotel room, which was such a faff. But now we need to get the car MOT'd because they don't do MOTs in Guernsey. So we had to drive to somewhere and get it MOT'd, make sure it's safe to drive up north before we can actually go anywhere else. So that's what we're doing now. I think we've found the place. We think. We're not entirely sure because everything is just so big compared to Guernsey, <laughs> it's mental. But yeah, hopefully, fingers crossed, this is it. We'll keep you up to date. And so welcome to our humble abode for the next couple of days. As you can see, it's very much like our apartment in Guernsey. It's an absolute pigsty, and that's because we had to empty the entire car, as you said earlier. But I'm pretty happy with it. It's always the same when it comes to Holiday Inn Expresses. It's somewhere I can recommend if you're coming to the UK because they're just comfortable. They're not fancy, they're nothing outlandish, but neither is our apartment. Our apartment's at home and you feel comfortable. Yeah, very comfortable. And the staff here are like amazing. We arrived here about quarter to seven this morning and they let us check in, bring up all our luggage. Can't yeah. fault it. It was lifesavers so because there's no way we would have been able to get an MOT with the car as full as that. So huge shout out to those guys. We're going to settle in for the rest of the night though. Just unpack our bags, go a little wander around and then plan where we're going to go for dinner because we're still adjusting to the UK and trying to figure out what is actually happening. So we're going to go ahead and head outside and see what's what. So leaving Guernsey last night and watching it sail off into the sunset was quite emotional for us. I mean, it's been our home for the past 16 months. It's become our usual routine and we just know what to expect there and it's really comfortable. But now we're on to the next adventure in the UK here and it is going to take a little bit of getting used to, I think. We had to start wearing masks as soon as we got on the boat and that was a little bit hard getting used to. Campbell actually left his room without the mask on, had to go back and get it. So we ended up, we just sat down and had some drinks just to avoid wearing the masks. Because that was the only time we were actually allowed to not wear masks was if you <laughs> having a drink or if we were in our room but we wanted to enjoy the view yeah so it was a good excuse to have a bottle of wine with the sunset but now they're actually here and we're out and about exploring her in Portsmouth it's quite a sigh of relief to see just how kind of normal things seem like I'd built up in my head this post-apocalyptic kind of image of like deserted cities and everyone cowering in fear but it's come at to the, it uh, at the moment it's actually okay isn't yeah it? the sun's shining people are out enjoying the day and it's almost life as normal apart from people are wearing masks and one thing that is actually really funny about being in Portsmouth, uh, as opposed to Guernsey, is that all of these 
kind of things are all British weapons. Whereas we've spent the past 16 months looking at German versions of them over on the France side of things. So that's very, very interesting to see the different perspective for a change. Now, if there's one thing that Portsmouth apparently does do, it is a banging sunset just like Guernsey. It's our first night in the UK and it's ending with a proper beautiful sunset. We're down at the Gunworth Quay. Gunworth Quay. And we're just going to re relax, enjoy the sunset and chill out with these kind of really, really nice vibes. Everyone's hustling and bustling about. The bars are all busy. Everyone's dressed up to the nines. We're wearing sandals, so we're going to fit right in. Polo neck are like the hottest day of the year. <laughs> so it's a good end to the day. Good morning guys, so the day's come that we can finally hit the road again. We've got this entire mess to pack up back into the car. But first things first, it's time for some free breakfast which is included in the hotel and I cannot wait for it. And this is definitely the reason why we love staying at the Holiday Inn Express because there's always a good, reliable breakfast. And so guys, as you can see, the car passed this MOT, flying colours, and hopefully it's going to carry us all the way home now. Good struggle getting the car packed again. Oofed, especially in like 20, 23 degrees. I know, I was sweating carrying Damn. stuff up and down. Oofed. But we actually, I think we packed it better this time, because before, Gemma was sitting with a big camera bag on her knee, whereas now it's in behind us. Well, fingers crossed it's for a smooth journey. Oh, here we go, we're taking her up to 60. <laughs> I don't think I'll ever get used to that again, it's terrifying. Oh my god, it's a motorway. So I just realised that we didn't actually tell you guys where we are off to. So we are heading north just now from Portsmouth. We're heading to Warwick where my brother John lives and it's about one and a half hours to go. So when we got there, I reckon we'll get there just in time for lunch. Have a good time to look around and explore the city of Warwick because we've only been there once before and it's quite a beautiful city so it's going to be good to show you guys a bit of it as well. It's a lovely day and we've just arrived into Warwick now. We're out exploring St Nicholas's Park whilst we wait for our accommodation to get ready. And so far for what we've seen of Warwick, it's quite a historical town. Like lots of peaceful, tranquil places and loads of old cottages. And did you know that Warwick has an 800 year old castle that is actually older than a lot of countries? Oofed. Just pulled that off the top of my head. I just know <laughs> everything. No, I just go good on my phone. No, but yeah, that's that. Warwick Castle. So maybe we'll go and check that out at our time in Warwick. But for now, an ice cream is calling because we drove yes, for four hours. It's so warm. It's 28 degrees and I am so sweaty. Ooh, that's exciting. Literally just scraped enough cash together. Yeah, for the past few weeks we've been like selling things on Guernsey eBay and we've had loads and loads of Guernsey notes which we can't use in the UK. So we've been desperately trying to get rid of them and then now all of a sudden. We've got no cash. We've got no cash. Um, <laughs> not that we'd be able to use Guernsey notes anyway, but all of a sudden we need to use cash. <laughs> oh, and first taste of UK ice cream again, what are your thoughts? It's a good whippy. It's not Guernsey ice cream, no. put it that way. I don't know, it's just less flavour. Yeah. I feel like Guernsey ice cream. Anyone that's not been to Guernsey and watching this, the best thing about it Mm. is just I'm in like the, ice cream. <laughs> the ice cream and the butter and the milk is just incredible and the cheese mm. is incredible any kind of dairy thing so if you don't eat dairy then you know that sucks but if you do definitely try the ice cream it's so so good Caught behind the nation blinds how to reach for the city lines and this ain't where i belong ain't look at me man what i become I've been running in the east, looking for something, digging deep. So the last time we were here was... 16 months ago. On yeah. the way down to Guernsey, we stopped off here for a night before we went down to Portsmouth for the ferry. And all of a sudden we're back here and just... Yeah. Where does the time go? Unbelievable. 
So Gemma's brother has kindly agreed to host us for the night and the last time we saw him was 16 months ago as well so we are very excited to go and meet him. Now we just need to unload everything out of this car again. No, I'm kidding on. We're, <laughs> oh, no, we're no, only no. going to get the essentials out. Oh, look at that cat. And there's John. Hello, John! Come back! <laughs> Cheers. And so guys, that brings us back to the question of what is it actually like moving back to the UK from Guernsey during the pandemic? Well, after talking to Gemma's brother a lot, it turns out that a lot of the liberties and everything that people were doing and enjoying today are brand new kind of restrictions. Yeah, that have been lifted uh, Lifted Very in the area. And what we're seeing is things that people aren't able to do for a long, long time. So we just think it's a normal thing. Turns out we're just very lucky to be returning to the UK at this perfect moment in time. And so we're very fortunate and very grateful for that. So tomorrow we are going to be going back into Warwick and we're going to explore around the local area. So if you want to see more of that, then make sure you subscribe to our channel and the video will be out next week. Yeah, and also if you want to see other UK adventures, make sure you hit that subscribe button. If you like this video, give it a big thumbs up, drop us a comment what you think about it if you're planning on moving to UK anytime soon. And of course, we'll see you guys again in the next one. See ya. The first time we're gonna be picking up a speed higher than 35. This is terrifying. Gonna be okay. Calm down, all right. Moving back to the UK after spending 16 months in Guernsey was a bit of a worrying thought. Yeah, with not. <laughs> Moving back to the UK after spending 16 months in Guernsey was a bit of a worrying thought. After 16 months, hey. But of course, guys, if there's one thing that apparently Portsmouth does do that definitely reminds us of Guernsey, is it is a good sunset. And I think that's what we're in for tonight. Our first night okay, in the UK. <laughs> Gemma's got her mask stuck to her face, so this is what she's going to look like forever now. There this you has go. been the reality of my on and off. Just get stuck my earrings. Carry on. You ready? We're ready. Take two. Three, two, one. 